proceedings are concluded. This court is adjourned. If all the shit I did for this motherfucking company, you. You ever had a great idea stolen from you and didn't know how to go about getting justice? In Charles Ford's The Anatomy of a Corporate Lynching, he takes us behind the scenes of his public copyright and civil rights lawsuit against his employer, Con Edison. In this explosive page turner, Ford writes of an idea he submitted being taken and used without credit or compensation. In a book where no names have been changed to protect the guilty, Ford details how he stood his ground legally against theft and racial discrimination. Ford's exploration of a corporate lynching attempt inspires readers to pursue justice and fight back legally in the face of corporate opposition and retaliation. The Anatomy of a Corporate Lynching is available on Amazon Worldwide in paperback and on Kindle. Find Ford at author Charles Ford on Instagram. t-shirt okay i even have on my platform tennis shoes all right i'm tired i have had multiple trials this week Woo! getting ready to gear up to go out of town next week and guys i am worn and torn and i got a hair appointment today so this is what you get you don't want it you say guess what i say it's what you're getting today okay let's move on guys we are going to discuss some very, um, this is what I want to talk about today, okay? I want to talk about leasing, renting, okay? That is what I want to talk about. Um, a lot of the times, and right now, the reason I'm speaking about this is because we're in, you know, Florida. They have this big, you know, issue um, with respect to this, this condominium building falling down. And these residents are trapped. Some of them have died. Okay, and I know a lot of the times you guys have issues with places that you live and your landlords don't want to fix things, don't want to, you know, do what they're supposed to do. Some of you rent condominiums. The homeowners association doesn't like to spend money in the way that it should. Uh, you may feel that things are not up to code. And so I want to talk about kind of that, that situation and kind of what to do. Now, in that situation, they were coming up on a 40-year certification. Okay, they were having to go through structural um, changes, making sure they were up to code, etc. Some of the people that were on the uh, TV that were interviewed discussed um, the fact that, you know, they were going back and forth on what money to spend. And he was saying, don't try to save money. Okay, spend what you need to spend to make sure the structures are right. So he did speak about the fact that there was water underneath. And one thing that... Um, my little man friend was teaching me is that you know florida is an area where it's like a lot of holes uh it's basically almost an island and that that land probably gave way depending on how that structure is so that structure probably buckled and that could be a reason why there was water underneath i'm not sure we will find this out in the next month a couple of weeks or what have you but the issue is that guys everybody lives in places where natural disasters occur down here in the South, we are used to hurricanes, and so we deal with hurricane issues. And so down here, if you're renting a house, you're leasing, whatever, you have to kind of make sure that the landlord is keeping up with cutting the trees because those trees could come down that house severely injuring yourself, your children. You have to kind of keep up with it. It could mess up your car in the driveway. But we don't really care about their house because it ain't your house, right? But you do care about your things inside of it, and you would hate to have to hit their homeowners with policy uh, for your stuff, but you can, and that's what I want to discuss today. Um, when you're leasing, when you're renting, and things go wrong within the structure, um, and or you're hurt in that home because somebody did not uh, properly repair, let's say a bathtub. I have clients that I'm suing over bathtub issues, and they've fallen, and these are old bathtubs, and the landlords don't repair them right. Um, you can sue, and um, a lot of people don't know that if your child is at someone's house and they get hurt. You can sue for that. Um, a lot of people have trampolines in their backyard. Your child may go over there and get hurt. They should have a homeowner's policy that covers that. They should have a renter's policy that covers that trampoline or that covers your child getting hurt at that particular location. And you can hit that policy if and when any injuries occur. With respect to keep upkeep and maintenance on a, on a, on a home or a, an apartment, 
um, somewhere that you lease. You have to make sure that the landlord keeps things up to code. Sometimes they send people in there to do faulty electrical work, etc. And you are going to be the bearer of the brunt of any sort of bad things that occur in that home while they're trying to save money and be cheap. So you have to make sure that things are done up to the proper specification. In addition to that, depending on how they're fixing this home or wiring things, it can have a strenuous um, pull and tug on your electrical bill. So these are also things that you can seek compensation for if you know you are put in that position where your landlord is falsely fixing things and it's causing your bills to go up. Um, there are attorneys out there like myself that help people with these type of issues. Okay, you do have to pay us much of the time, but if it's an accident that has occurred and somebody has gotten hurt, nine times out of ten, attorneys will take those cases on contingency, and so you don't have to pay anything, and they'll go ahead and do what they have to do, hit the homeowner's insurance policies, and take care of it. There have been times where people have been bitten by dogs. If that person has a homeowner's insurance policy, uh, you're able to hit, you know, the policy for the dog bite. If their dogs bite you while you're at their home, different things like that. So we have to keep in mind that just because you get hurt at someone's home or just because you're leasing doesn't mean that you have to deal with uh, the things that come about. Um, they are supposed to be fixing your items. If somebody doesn't properly fix your items, let's say your air goes out. It's very hot right now in the summertime and they're not fixing your air. You have the right to be able to move into an apartment and make them pay that, that, that fee for you to be in the apartment for the time being, especially when you have children or elderly that are with you. Don't sacrifice your own health or your, the safety of your family. Get up out of there, go get a hotel, and your landlord is going to have to take care of that payment. And and or you're going to be able to pull it from your rent, and they're just going to have to deal with it, and they should be getting stuff around their feet. They shouldn't have you in there for days at a time with no AC. With no AC. Um, that's just not going to work at all. Um, so if you're leasing, these are things that landlords know they have to deal with and, and do. Make sure that you hold their uh, feet to the fire, uh, especially this time of year, and especially for the people up north when it gets very cold. Make sure you have proper heating and everything. Look at your lease. Look at your lease and see who is responsible for minor maintenance and repairs. If your landlord is, is responsible for minor maintenance and repairs, then they need to get over there and they need to get that taken care of. Okay? So if you guys have any questions about how this works, Make sure you shoot me an email, booker at bookerlawfirm.com. Make sure you add me on Instagram, she underscore ya underscore lawyer, okay? Make sure you send these questions because what I can do is I can post these questions on these videos for you guys, okay? So thank you so much, uh, African Diaspora, for all the love that you show. Make sure you come over to my own uh, channel, which is Legal QT. Uh, here on YouTube, subscribe. Also, hit the notification button so that you can get notifications. Like this video and like the videos on my page. And you guys continue to be great, okay? Have a fantastic weekend. Bye-bye. Friends and family, I would like you to check out blackcommunityspeak.com. Now, blackcommunityspeak.com is a forum-based website, so something that's very simple where you can get on, you can get off, you know, get involved with a lot of topics. Now, Black Community Speaks is a place that's for black men and women to talk about issues that's affecting the entire community. So on blackcommunityspeak.com, they talk about topics in the range of news, uh, what's going on in society, relationships, technology, business, food and recipes, gaming, health and fitness, you know, music, and many, many more. Um, on Black Community Speak, it's a place where you can be safe to say what you want to say without the fear of big tech censorship. So make sure you head on over to blackcommunityspeak.com and sign up today. Hello, everyone. Please make sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms.